I've seen some amazing things and I've seen some tragic things and I've seen some happy things and I've seen some extremely sad things. And so it's a matter then of, of putting all those together to choose and it's going to be very difficult to make that final decision because each photograph has its own story. I think I found most exciting being part of this judging panel the completely disparate points of view, which I find fascinating and delightful. I'm part of a professional photography community that I've been part of for several decades. We as photography professionals share a visual language and I think that by hearing the other reactions of people who perhaps aren't as familiar with the visual language, it's, um, it's super important to hear, to know if the language we're using is universal or not. I think it's important that we're able to talk about all of these issues. I don't think there's any um, issue that we should sort of sweep under the carpet. A lot of these um, mental health or health issues are better addressed through conversation and through sharing. And that's what photography can do. I guess what surprises me is the ones where, where my opinion changes the more time I spend with them. And there's been some that I, that I really discounted when I first saw them that I came to really love. This is the second year of the Welcome Photography Prize and it's become a really important part of our year. It's about the human face of health issues. It's about reaching uh, beyond the sort of normal way of thinking about things and thinking about them in a different way, bringing people into those questions, those debates, and, and yes, sometimes challenging us to think about these issues, mental health or other issues, in a different way.